Hey, what's up guys, Big Time Droid HD here and I know I haven't been posted for a long time but tonight uh, I'm gonna be showing you a new Galaxy S6 port you may be wondering, well, it's Albi's 95 port or it's Aurora's ROM port, nope this ROM is called PopWiz Mod S6 Overload, it's a big name and the version I'm currently testing testing is uh, 3.0 beta which I'm gonna be showing you right now um, you may notice that um, it's running a Galaxy S6 port 5.1.1 Android version with Imperium kernel and I will get into this later as I told you pop with S6 X6 overload <coughs> Sorry, version 3.0. Yep. Now, if you flash this ROM without any other things, any other tweaks, you won't get any kind of Wi Fi connection. You will fix the Wi Fi connection by flashing Imperium ROM version 3.2.6. I'll pull a link in the description with the, the download of these two files, the ROM itself and the kernel itself. Now, as you may see, I am running a custom theme because S6 supports custom themes by default. But as you may already know, having a custom theme or having the ability to choose a custom theme, to install a custom theme, breaks the ability of watching 1080p videos on YouTube and I tested it by myself you may see the YouTube application and yep it lags in 1080p actually it's not lagging it's actually freezing which isn't that great apart from that you have to know that Wi-Fi and data are working perfectly let me switch to the mobile data to show you that it is working perfectly so H plus which means 3 G yep ton, tons and of uh, males so connected to Wi-Fi everything is ported from the Galaxy S6 we're gonna get into the apps let's uh, see if the weather widget works I'm gonna set the my location Bucharest, Romania. Yep, 17 degrees Celsius. Yep, it's working perfectly. Okay, so with the stock kernel, I have tested a little bit this ROM, but I have to say that is kind of I don't know how to say a little bit faster, a little bit um, sloppier it seemed to be that it was actually running a Galaxy S6 device that I was actually running a Galaxy S6 device instead of Galaxy S4 but the performance on this kernel, Imperium kernel can be customized in this application the S2X application which allows you to set up any kind of uh, performance tweaks so you may get to the performance that was offered with the stock kernel but as I told you before with the stock kernel you wouldn't get Wi-Fi so yep that was a big bug for me so it's worth having a custom kernel now let's get into the apps but first of all I will change the theme because this one really freaks me out I don't really like the icons so we're gonna click apply it will apply in a couple of minutes now the screen is white whiter, brighter and I'll have to dim the brightness a little bit just to make sure you guys see what I'm doing here so it looks f far better for me these are the icons that I was expecting really nice and shiny so we gotta, we're gonna get into the phone app and let's call 415 this is how the phone application looks like and let's see how it looks like when we receive a message 
you uh, you saw the off screen animation screen off animation and from time to time yep this is how it looks like just press on it and then slide to unlock this is the messages application multi window is working actually pop up window is working you can sorry you can drag from this corner like this and you will have a pop-up window let me try it. it's not always the best way to open a multi window you can also open it in multi screen like this and then you can open another app messages again <laughs> no my files for example yep like this so multi window is perfectly working what else do we have here you saw some uh, lag there it's usual torch is working as you may see so we have floating messages multi window showed you synchronizing power saving ultra power saving mode let's check ultra power saving mode but guys I have to tell you you just don't really need this because it doesn't save that much battery as it would be saving on a normal Galaxy X6 or Galaxy S5 when it was released on these devices because it's a port and ports usually aren't uh, that good it takes some time before restoring the main user interface come on 72% and then we're gonna get into the apps to show you the speed and the smoothness of this device you can check out the I know a lot of guys a lot of you guys ask me about a battery life essentially frankly I don't have the time to test the battery life really the school is starting I'm really upset about this uh, really mad at this you can check out the battery percentage at the beginning of the video and see uh, and observe it while I am re actually reviewing this raw just to make an idea of how fast the battery drains so we saw the phone app let's get into contacts app yeah pull out of a lot of uh, synchronized apps um, gallery camera I think is the default Galaxy S4 camera you yes you have the option to get the S Galaxy S6 camera but uh, I thought that it isn't worth it so no Galaxy S camera in this video music application the Galaxy S6 one really looks good video application clock these these new apps configured by Samsung really looks good gives me the impression of having a MIUI device because in on that ROM everything was working uh, was actually redefined and apps were fitting the fitting every single spot empty spot in the firmware tools memo my files as planner as health smart manager this application also comes with the widget this is a kind of big bug for me because every 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 time I get on the main screen it restarts itself it shouldn't be okay let me check the smart manager this is the smart manager you can clean all the applications it's really really handy tool as you may see there's still that little lag which wasn't uh, obvious while running stock kernel that's what uh, that's 
what I told you about Imperium kernel you'll get some performance issues like this little lag um, the lock screen widgets lock screen widgets sorry lock screen effects are working just let me get into them water droplet so let's see yep blocking bu bubbles abstract tiles geometric mosaic you know these but yep it's working Wi-Fi is working data is working themes are working the only thing that bothers me is the YouTube lag battery 68% so yep that was all about this ROM if you want to know if you have any questions regarding this ROM please make sure you hit the comment section down below and write what you want to know what you want to find out and if you like this video of course make sure you click the thumbs up button the share button it helps me a lot and uh, thank you for watching as always guys Wicked Android is out bye bye